C'est la Marpagui. Good morning, everybody, from paradise. We are about to take a boat over across to another island from where we are here in Bira, oh, just on Barra Beach. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be around a four hour journey. Very excited. We're gonna do some snorkeling right now. We're having some coffee. Good morning. It's too <laughs> early to be alive. Yes. <laughs> Let's do it. That's our boat. So today we're also going to run a little bit of a trial. Uh, this is the camera that we used to film with. Now, as you can see, it's turned on in the front, turned off in the back because it's a little bit broken. But we're still going to try and capture some footage of it while we are snorkeling. And I cannot wait to try this camera out. <laughs> Now me. Huggy. Yeah. <laughs> Huggy. <laughs> oh, cold. Oh, no. <laughs> this one. Yeah. This seems not stable. <laughs> oh no, I don't think it can carry me. He's <laughs> gonna help. <laughs> I'm gonna do it like this. Okay. I don't think the ladder supports us. <laughs> Little bit too heavy. <laughs> Okie dokie. We made it on board. Let's do this. Bye bye. <laughs> The water around here is very beautiful and clear so and we also have absolutely gorgeous weather conditions here today so this is perfect. Interesting, I sort of saw it. Ow. <laughs> I saw the turtle from like maybe 40 meters away, and then uh, I started to go closer 
slowly and the turtle sort of saw me sized me up and then he came up and started swimming around me but like 10 times 20 times he was swimming in circles around me and then he left and i tried to follow but he was like i don't know 200 times faster than me obviously <laughs> and the current is quite strong here as well yeah so as you can probably hear my breath i'm just trying to stand beside the boat yeah the current is really strong so yeah it's quite exhausting to swim here but really nice This is beautiful. So they have a homestay here right on the beach. And this is who you can contact. It's a little bit too bright. There we go. Incredible. She said uh, it's it's 400,000 a night. I'm yep. pretty sure if you go on, you can also book it on booking.com. But I'm pretty sure if you book it on booking.com, it's probably going to be a little more. bit more expensive because obviously booking takes commission. But if you want to reach out directly to them, I'm sure you can get a better price. Yep. Absolutely beautiful. This island here it seems to be a very small, very tight knit community. And um, that snorkeling session was incredible. Naomi managed to see a very large turtle and a very relaxing time as well. I think right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a cup of coffee and enjoy our morning here on this absolute paradise. I don't know, it might be a little bit dark. Okay, maybe we should extend our stay in Bira. This homestay is so beautiful. I cannot believe it. Yeah, it's really amazing. She said, um, one of the turtles actually comes to the beach every now and then and if you're sitting here you can see the turtles sort of going around and uh, some people as I, uh, as I uh, thought some people actually feed the turtle as well so if you go snorkeling you can bring some food for the turtle she doesn't but like foreigners do and um, the turtles actually come and eat out of your hand and everything that's probably why that turtle kept swimming around me because he was like wondering like yeah. you have any food <laughs> did you bring something for me but I didn't have any food on me so he he left because he was probably disappointed that <laughs> I didn't have something for him. But yeah, oh. this is, uh, I don't know, this is my dream life. This is what I would love yep. for our future to be. It's crazy. And it's gone. <gasps> you erased it. No. <laughs> All right, we had just ordered some coffee and she actually brought everything out so we can make it to our own gusto and uh, that's exactly what I'm gonna do now I just don't know how much coffee to put I'm never sure I usually put way too much coffee and then I get like a caffeine hit you know <laughs> there's but never think, enough <laughs> I think this one is okay you yeah. want to add some to yours too yeah 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 oh my god <sighs> this looks about right yeah half a glass full of coffee oh god <laughs> i think our ride is leaving yep <laughs> our boat they're, is leaving they're abandoning us <laughs> you have to stay here now <sighs> sorry <laughs> trying to figure out everything this place is really amazing and they have um i believe she said six rooms Pl <laughs> plenty of space for you and your family if you wanted to come and stay here uh, our suggestion would be just to basically head from Makassar to Bira and then obviously just take the boat across that would be the easiest thing for you to do and um, I'm sure if you're coming across with the purpose of staying uh, here the cost of the boat will be probably significantly less than what we're paying today so because we're we are basically paying for 
a brief amount of snorkeling and then here and back from the island and it works out to 400,000 so that's not bad at all considering the way over here is roughly around 30 35 minutes in the boat plus we snorkeled for around 30 minutes so that's not bad at all yeah this place is amazing and also, uh, I don't know if we said it already, the homestay is 400,000 per night, and uh, but she includes breakfast. So you're totally fine with that, because I believe it's probably relatively difficult to get a hold of food when you are on this island, because I'm pretty sure that there is no like supermarket or like proper restaurants or something like that. Obviously, this is a restaurant where you can have food that's attached to the homestay. And but I think other than that, you probably have to bring everything from the main mainland Sulawesi. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna go explore with the owner of the guest house now. Gonna take us on a walk around the island. I think just briefly. Yeah, she said she wanted to show us something, but I'm not too sure what it is. So we're gonna figure it out. <laughs> I think they have something that they uh, produce here on the island, but I'm not sure what it is. It's a school for children from 4 to 16 years old. I wow. think some boys have a break at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> break from school. <laughs> wow. It's so cool that they have a school here as well, on the small island. I thought that they would have to go to the mainland. Yeah, it's amazing. It's really good. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Moringa. Yes, Moringa. Moringa beans. Wow. No beans. No but beans? Moringa. Oh. Like beans, but no moringa, no beans. <laughs> it's like a superfood, no? Yeah. Like good for your brain. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think uh, I think we might have had moringa before, but I'm not sure. Maybe in Sri Lanka. Look at this traditional house here. This is gorgeous. They're making uh, sarongs here in the traditional way. So the ladies here work seven to eight hours per day and it takes them two weeks to finish one sarong. And uh, these sarongs actually, they go to Lombok, they go to Bali, they go to uh, Nusa Tengaran and so on. And she, this one, this specific one will be sold for 500,000. So two weeks worth of work 500,000 rupiah it's crazy and the pattern is so so beautiful i cannot imagine how much work it is i mean obviously i can fathom how much work it is but how much work actually goes into it and how much love it's crazy mm -hmm. we just met a or we were shown a guy that was making bracelets out of turtle shells that's a very interesting concept i think now she did say that it, it is when the turtle is just found, for example, or if it's not actually living. So nonetheless, it's a very, very interesting oh concept and something very unique for sure. I think we're being, we're being chased by school children right now because we are the only boules on this island. Hot to run. <laughs> Hello. Hello. See ya. <laughs> oh, very hot day today. Very hot. Yeah. <laughs> as uh, as Luke said, the, they only make the turtle bracelets when the turtle is already deceased. Um, but I don't know. I, I was thinking for a second to to buy one, 
but I'm not 100% sure. I'm a little bit scared yeah. that, uh, I don't know, maybe the turtle suffered or something. So I, I don't know. The sarong I would buy any second. Yep. <laughs> True. Hello. 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 Oh, you have a slingshot. Oh, dangerous boy. <laughs> <laughs> you also have one. <laughs> I know they're running again. <laughs> This mask here is really beautiful. Very colorful as well. It's unfortunately time to go back to Bira. And then we're going to explore Bira. Bring you guys on our motorbike. Let's do this. We're alive. <laughs> We're alive. We're alive. On two cameras. Yeah. <laughs> We are back on mainland Sulawesi and I believe we're just gonna take a quick get a quick shower and then uh, maybe explore the area a little bit we heard that today is market day so yeah I believe we're gonna go and see what the locals are selling on the market so we took a shower and now we swapped the very fashionable headgear of snorkeling to this very fashionable headgear there's Luke <laughs> What's up, everybody? I'm always walking to the front because the entry here is a little bit rough and uh, we only have a small CC scooter. I believe it's only like a hundred CC. So it doesn't actually carry the two of us up the driveway, but now we're ready to go. Yeah, yeah. We yeah, just, yeah. just had a nap because we were <laughs> feeling pretty tired, but now we're gonna go and look maybe for a warung and uh, bring you guys along with us and show you the area. Whoop, whoop. Ready? So now we're getting into the more developed part of the tourist area and here you have a few small tokos, so small shops and uh, some karaoke places as well and some bars. Yeah, the development, the development around here is, there's really not much. But if you want a party, Bira seems to be the place, that's for sure. Yeah, so they have this tourist zone and inside of the tourist zone, um, you can also uh, order and drink alcohol, which I believe is prohibited outside of the tourist zone. But uh, yeah, so this is basically the place to come. There's a cow. Oh, there's a cow. <laughs> this is basically the place to come um, if you want to have a drink or maybe, I don't know, party a little bit. Uh, the rest of Bira doesn't really have any larger bars or anything like that. Obviously, there are some barungs, but uh, that's about it, I guess. There's a guy in front of us that's, that has an entire shop yeah. on the back of a scooter. How cool is that? Yeah. 
and the gate that you just saw there that's the entrance to the tourist zone so if you do stay there you have to pay as a foreigner I believe it's like 40,000 Indonesian rupiah once um, if you're staying inside uh, the, the tourist zone on a, in a homestay like we do for example you only have to pay it once I believe as an Indonesian local you have to pay 15,000 Indonesian yep. rupiah Seems like somebody's barbecuing some satays here. Oh. Yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Is the scooter actually going to manage to bring us up this hill? I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it. <laughs> we made it. Oh yeah, just because we drove past it, by the way, I thought um, when we arrived that all of the locals here would be burning all of their trash actually on the side of the road. But uh, we had a conversation with the host and it seems like it's only sort of leaves and wood and like organic materials that they are burning and then they have to bring the plastic to the next larger city. But check this view out, oh my god! There is another beach other than the beach that we are on here uh, as well and we actually haven't we didn't go down to that uh, stretch of beach yet but uh, yeah what I was talking about I was talking about trash so uh, yeah you have to bring it to the next larger city to recycle the plastic bits basically and um, that's obviously a lot of work which is why some people prefer to throw it on the side of the road so you do have quite a bit of plastic um, but it's not as bad as bad as in other areas. We just drove past the Pasar, the Pasar Tradicional area here, and uh, it looked like it was already closed, so uh, unfortunately we cannot go. I wanted to go see the Pasar because I thought we could see what type of fish they have, and then you can get an understanding usually of what kind of fish there are in the ocean here. Um, but yeah, I think we're uh, a little bit too late. It's sort of um, afternoon now, so I don't know, like 4 p.m. or something like that. And yeah, we're a little bit too late, unfortunately. But hey, we had a good morning on the boat, so <laughs> that's also <laughs> great. <laughs> but let's just drive a little bit around, I want to say, and see what other things there are here uh, in Pira. Chicken. Chicken. There's always an alpha mart. There's Direct always an alpha mart. Always an alpha mart. Yeah, directly outside of the tourist zone where the gate sort of was. Uh, somebody's overtaking. Sort of where the gate was. Um, there's an alpha mart, an Indomaret, and some smaller local supermarkets as well. Uh, like sort of your mom and pop shops. Um, but there's no like really big supermarket, so you're very de <laughs> you're very dependent on uh, Alpha Mart and Indomaret. And uh, we also had a look online. Actually, the next hospital is like 40 kilometers or one hour drive away. And uh, yeah, so Bira is a little bit away from the normal path, I want to say. <laughs> they were having a party there. <laughs> Are we gonna make it up this hill? Ah. <laughs> oh, it looks like there's another cool looking area down there. Yeah. Look at the houses. Yeah. You sort of have all of the traditional houses here on stilts. I think I was already saying that in the last video we were seeing those houses in the artificial setting in Taman Mini Indonesia in Jakarta. And it's so cool to actually see those houses now for ourselves and inhabitants mostly, like the majority of them are still in use. Some of them are obviously empty, but majority are in use. Oh, 
again he was only burning leaves and wood. Yeah. I think our host was correct. <laughs> he gave us the right information. Yeah. Oh, it says it's a steep hill. Steep hill. I'm really glad that I wore my sunglasses because the sun is blinding in some places right now. And I'm having a hard time seeing some stuff. By the way, the other day we saw a lot of, um, I think they're called black crested macaques or something like that. They were all running over the streets in the tourist zone. So if you're driving your scooter there, I don't know, maybe keep an eye out for the monkeys. <laughs> yeah. There was literally like, I want to say maybe 50 monkeys. And they just kind of took over our whole like resort area. So it's crazy. <laughs> this is difficult. Do you think if you lean forward, it's going to help? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How many bottles do you want? Just one, no? I'll we'll take two, maybe. Two? Yeah. Hello. Oh. Yay. <laughs> maybe two? Hello. She's so beautiful. <laughs> Where do you come from? German. German? Yeah. Oh. How long in here? In Bira, one week. Wow. One week in Bira. You're managing? Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at the puppy. Puppy. Anjing. Anjing. <laughs> Hello. 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 Oh, you're friendly. Okay. Terima kasih. Sama -sama. Terima kasih. Yeah, sama -sama. <laughs> Put the money away. Yeah. <laughs> I look funny with the helmet. <laughs> Just took a quick gasoline break uh, because we were looking at our tank and it looked a little bit empty. But now we're. Uh, we're back to full <laughs> so we don't have to worry because we actually we drove out quite a bit and there was all of a sudden absolutely nothing and we only had like one line left in our gasoline tank so we were like okay we really need to put some gasoline in the tank <laughs> let's go let's go get some food yeah we're really hungry now we have been sort of out all morning and we haven't had anything to eat so far we just had like one of those seven day croissants so nothing really healthy and also nothing filling <laughs> yeah. just found this little area here where you can actually go down to the beach that i was just showing you that we weren't at yet so we're just gonna probably try and go down there to the beach it uh, looks like because the entire village was very quiet and we were wondering where all of the people are and uh, we drove past and there's actually I don't know half of the village seems to be at the beach so yeah we're gonna have a look what they're doing also I'm walking down here because it was very it's very steep and um, we weren't sure with the scooter but Luke managed already to go down there he's waiting there <laughs> and I'm walking down why do I always have to walk and he drives so unfair. 
Ah, looks like there's uh, some tents there as well. Maybe you can rent tents down here. Maybe this is a little bit more of a local, local vacation area or something. Because I feel like the area where we are in, there's also local tourists, but it's really predominantly foreigners. So uh, yeah, maybe this is the place where the locals go and we just weren't aware. <laughs> Here's Luke. <laughs> Next time I drive and you walk. Okay. Maybe this is where the locals come to do vacation? That's what it seems like, yeah. Because our area also has locals, but predominantly foreigners. Really careful, there's a... <laughs> <laughs> predominantly foreigners, really. Maybe this is the place for locals. Yeah, yeah. I really want to check the beach out here. Yeah, this area actually looks really nice. Yeah. I feel like we should have maybe come here. Traditional houses. Yeah. Oh, this is public access to the beach. If you want, we can park here somewhere. I look ridiculous with this helmet. We found, we found actual, another beautiful beach. Curiosity, this is what curiosity gets you. The tide seems to be out at the moment. That's why you can see a lot of the um, algae and seagrass and seaweed and so on here in the front. But if you wait a few hours, the tide will be back in. It's sort of the way, like at 1 p.m. every day here in Bira, the tide goes out. And then you can see a lot of people going out and collecting maybe mussels, maybe seaweed, I don't know. But yeah, I'm sure this beach is very beautiful when the tide goes back in. For sure. Look at these beautiful palm trees as well. My God, down here every now and then you can hear the scooters on the main street. Um, but other than that, it's very quiet here actually. Also, you can hear Luke's scooter right now. Other than that, it's very, very quiet. You can hear the call to prayer right now a little bit. Other than that, there's not much going on. It's actually really beautiful here. Should I not walk? Oh. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Do you think up? Up is going to be impossible with That's us. That's why two. I said just let me walk. Okay. Or do you want to drive me 100 meters? Yeah, I'll drive you to the hill. Drive me to the hill. Ooh, you Jeez. could wait until I'm sitting. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Kater. Kuching, 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 kuching. Life adventure. You can go diving here. Yep. <laughs> ah, here's the mosque. Yep. That's why you can hear the call to prayer. Yep. I was wondering. Oh no. Alright, you wanna walk? Uh, not really. But sure. I'll walk. Go on so. See you in a sec. Yep. Is he gonna make it? Oh, I think he might. Looks promising. Oh, <laughs> he might have to push. Oh no! From what I could tell, he actually made it up the hill. I thought he would have to get off and push, but uh, yeah. Now he's waiting up there, and I have to walk. <laughs> Yes guys, so we parked our bike up and uh, we're actually somewhat in the center of Bira right now. We found a 
decent looking warung. It's called Pua Pua Dede. And it is right next to sort of an ATM center. That's what it's called. So there is a good few ATMs to choose from. Just so you know, if you are visiting Bira, you have a wide selection of ATMs. You don't have to worry about that because cash is king everywhere around here. Just takes cash, except for the Indomaret and the Alpha Mart. Obviously, they have card machines, so good to know. But uh, yeah, this place looks really cool. Show you guys in inside. So it's basically like a whole open concept warung, and right over there, you have the the harbor where they're working on boats. How cozy is this? <laughs> so nice. And the women, the owners here are very, very nice as well. And uh, they speak some English. <laughs> so we are trying to get by by using Bahasa, but obviously we are not going all the way Bahasa because we're not at that stage yet. And uh, one of the ladies actually speaks a little bit of English. So we're managing to communicate a little bit. <laughs> really cool place. <laughs> Eat and dip. Yes. <laughs> eat the, eat the, yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> that's how you do it. <laughs> you eat the uh, ikan with hand or with fork? Yes. Hand? What? Hand. Okay. <laughs> I try hand. Fork. Up to you. Up to you. Up to me? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Maybe hand better. Yes. <laughs> wow, so much food. Looks really nice. You like swan? You like peach? Fish? Ikan? Yeah, yeah, ikan, yeah. yeah. <laughs> ikan di sini... Uh, Banyak. Enak. Enak. Iya. Yeah. Enak. <laughs> Karena dia masih new. Masih new, baru. Fresh. Yeah, yeah, baru. Masih fresh. Ikan yes. baru, fresh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, masih fresh. Oh. It's hand wash. Hand. Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> for Indonesia. <laughs> for Indonesia. For eat. Indonesia. Yeah. Yes. Tradisional. Yes, tradisional. <laughs> Makanan tradisional. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's have a look. Do you see how nice the fish looks? <laughs> look at the fish. Oh wow. He even has, I don't know if you can see, he has teeth. He has teeth. Teeth. Ooh, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Are you like spicy? It's here. Oh, sambal. Oh. Sambal. <laughs> how hot is he? Panas, panas. Hot, hot. Panas. panas. Oh, panas. very panas. Yeah. Vole pake itu. Pake. Okay. With this one? It's I take apart. Okay. I do it like this? Yeah. Okay. She has to teach me how. <laughs> I'm like a toddler, I don't know how to eat. <laughs> Maybe take off the the fish meat first. And if you stroke it down, maybe you yes. leave the bones. You leave the bones in place, no? Like yeah. this? Okay, I manage. Speak Indonesian. It's barbecue harum. 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 Speak Indonesia harum. Oh, the smell. <laughs> I have to go harum. <laughs> <laughs> She's so funny. Wait, I need to turn him over. Let's flop him. Oh, we also have kerupuk. No, no harum. <laughs> or maybe, I don't know, does it just mean that it smells nice? Or does it mean uh, barbecue smell or something? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Now, I have a little bit of rice and a little bit of fish. Fish smells so nice. It smells very, very fresh. It does. And she said to dip it and then eat it. So I'm gonna dip, dip. Pray it's not too spicy. Bismillah. Mmm. <laughs> oh yeah. That's very nice fish. And uh, the dip is actually, yeah, it has a kick, but it's not too bad. Yeah. Eat with a little bit of rice. Onigiri. <laughs> a little bit of an onigiri here. Indonesian onigiri. Mm. Indogiri. Indogiri is good. Mm, enak, enak. Yeah. Very good. Mm. So I went with the nasi goreng special, and it comes with a nice sort of mountain of caro brook on the side as well. And then I have a nice 
load of eggs so it looks like kind of like an egg omelette shredded chicken obviously the fried rice nasi goreng and then a couple of different things in there like some vegetables and stuff like that so let's give this a try as well fish is good mm -hmm. well, well. <laughs> okay guys so nasi goreng special and um, it's special i think what what makes it special is the eggs so they'll typically add eggs and sometimes uh, different types of daging so meat so you'll get typically some places will give you beef and an egg some places will give you chicken and an egg i've noticed solaria for example <laughs> our favorite chain when we were in java and i think there's one here and or one was in makassar there was one as well but if you order a nazi goreng special in solaria they'll give you nazi goreng with basically like chicken sausage and uh, obviously egg as well but yeah let's give this a try see what's going on with this particular nasi goreng special so i'm gonna get some chicken some rice and some egg all onto one blend it all together and give it a try i have like a big spoon here so check this out see if i can focus it there you go look at that here we go That's really good. Mmm. The rice has a bit of spice to it, a bit of a kick. And um, that's good because, as I said before, no spice, no party. And um, that's. No spice, no life. <laughs> so I'm currently just gonna break the egg up into this, go in for another one. I can't help myself when it comes to this. Mm. Also, Karapruk, if you guys know me at all and you've been watching our uh, food, food adventures, you will know. Jesus, this guy is taking off in a helicopter behind me. You'll know that I use Karapruk uh, to make like sandwiches out of the, the food. So take the Karapruk like this and then you want to just scoop up as much as you can and it's basically like a like a little boat full of flavor that the final destination is my mouth so here we go oh my god this is really 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 amazing the rice this particular nasi goreng, the rice is uh, more on the, like the, the reddish color, which I guess just means, I think it just means that they have used more spice, more flavor, I guess. Sometimes I'll get a nasi goreng and um, it will be more like on a white rice type of side or maybe slightly brown because they'll add some uh, ketchup. ketchup into the rice but I don't really taste that with this one this one is more heavy on the chili side and that's exactly what I like so this is right up my alley right here mm. I can't stop uh, one more one more one more one more for the camera I got loads of egg And the best part about being close to the ocean, Naomi made the right decision here. Super fresh fish. We've had fish a few times since we arrived here. There's a restaurant that's actually right beside where we're staying. And they do a really interesting fish curry with rice. And that's really good too. But yeah, food here at this particular warung is fantastic and did i mention that this nasi goreng special is twenty thousand rupiah that's crazy because twenty thousand rupiah uh doesn't even get you an iced tea or an st in some places so incredible value and i think the 
the ice lemon tea here is 7,500. Mm -hmm. yeah. 7,500 and then um, my fish meal is 30,000 Indonesian rupiah. So we will end up somewhere, what, 64, 65, 64. something like that. So it's like five euro, I believe. Yeah. Oh, is it four euro? Four euro and a little bit maybe. Yeah. Uh, conversion is a little bit difficult. <laughs> and um, yeah, you cannot get it any cheaper than this. This is actually the cheapest and some of the most delicious that we have found in maybe all of Indonesia. Yeah. Yeah.